I'm going to be trying to replace the strut today. The strut has two bolts down here that hold the bottom on, and then I have three more up under here that hold on the top. Then the other side over there is a little buried. And by the way, this is a 2005 um, Chevy Uplander. Anyway, I'm going to be trying to do this today. Yesterday, I soaked these bolts, these two uh, bolts here in PB Blaster in hopes that they would break loose. And one of them came loose, and I'm using an impact driver to try to take them off. So both of the little nuts came off when I used the impact driver. I tried to wrench them off yesterday with my by hand with a big wrench and an extension, but they would not come. If you're going to do this, please, it's for your own sanity, get an impact driver. And so this is a 15 millimeter wrench and it fits these pieces up here on the top. And so I, I got to figure out how to get those out of there. So this is for the windshield wiper and down here you can kind of see maybe the other part of it right here. I stuck a pair of, I stuck a screwdriver in there and just popped this off so that it would get out of the way so it would be easier to access the uh, bolts under here. There you can see them. I got one off and the two back ones were a little harder to get to with this windshield wiper thing in the way. So I got the three screw bolts off. Then there were the two bolts down here on the bottom right there. They look like this. They were put in there like this. And there it is. The bolts came out pretty easy with this, with this little uh, mini sledgehammer here. And uh, then they kind of pulled out and once it came out, you had, I put these, we put these blocks of wood under here to help hold it up off the ground so this thing wouldn't fall on the ground and break anything. And then when it broke loose, you need to make sure you have somebody holding on to the springs because this thing falls and could potentially break your brake line, which would be bad. Anyway, so there's the old one and we're done with it. And here's the new one in the box. And we'll see how it looks. So here goes the new one. <laughs> letting my letting my assistant do all the work. And you need to, when you're doing this, you want to feed the top bolts in first, and then the bottom will uh, you just adjust the bottom to make it fit. And here I'll put a couple. It came with new nuts for the top. I'll put one on. The new one's in, and I started the uh, nuts just enough so that it wouldn't fall. Now we're going to go down underneath here and line this back up and put the, uh, put the uh, bolts back in. So that wasn't too bad. The, uh, they didn't line up perfectly when we put them on, but with a little adjusting, this, thing, this part here, the old part slipped into the new strut, and the bolts uh, didn't line up. but. With a little crowbar adjusting, it lined up. So we got them started now. It's just a matter of beating these in and putting the um, nuts back on here and tightening the top. All right, that one got it tight. This one has a little. Good, good. The gaps are gone right here and down here, and those bolts are on. So the nuts are now tightened up, and these are tightened up, so now it's time to put the wheel back on and let her down. Alright, so there's one wheel done. It is all back together, and it went together well. I put this back on here and pinched it with a pair of plumber's pliers, and it snapped back on just fine. So now it's a matter of digging into this side. I'm probably going to pull this bar out. There's two nuts, or two bolts down here, and there's one at the top. So I'll pull it out, and this thing should hopefully move enough out of the way that we can get to uh, the top screws back there. These nuts came off a lot easier. They were, they did okay. And now it's just a matter of getting to the top and getting those out. We took out the two bolts here and the bolt back behind the fuse box back there. And now we're taking out these two bolts that are holding on this fuse box. 
and then we should be able to have easy access to those three bolts up above. Now I put this over the battery just so that nothing would short out accidentally like the bar coming off. But uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, these three were a little bit harder to get to. This box that came loose, I just stood it up out of the way. The, this one in the front was fairly easy, and the one on the, over here on the left is easy, but that one back there, it is a tough one to get to. And let me see if I can get some there. It's a tough one to get to. It's right there, or, or my finger is right there. And then once it came out, then the rest of the strut just kind of dropped out. It wasn't so bad. So when we put the new one in, we're going to try to put that back one, that back one on the right in first, and hopefully just get it enough, started enough that the uh, ratcheting wrench can grab a hold of it and tighten it up. So the new strut went in a lot easier than the old one came out. Again, the two bolts on here, the two nuts on top that are closest are easy to get to. The one in the back is not. We started off by just holding our hand in over the nut in the back and then put it up and then twisted it on tight and then went ahead and pushed the strut up the rest of the way and it was it became a lot tighter after the strut was up. And these uh, slip back in and now it's just a matter of tightening these up and tightening the ones on top up. These tightened up easy enough with the impact wrench and we're just waiting on my assistant to finish the one in the back. Could you hurry it up, please? We're on. We're getting. We're not getting paid by the hour. And just to give everybody a little a little action here, this is this is what you got to look forward to when you work on your own struts. Lisa's going. No kidding. The wheels back on, and we're still fighting this last one, which I think it just got tight. Tightened up. Done. This one? Yeah. It's almost on. We've been tightening it about an eighth of a turn at a time. Just look at this action. If you do this, boy, I hope you have a set of ratcheting wrenches. If you don't, you're gonna, you're gonna be sorry. Just go buy some and get it over with and you will be a lot happier. The three top nuts are all tight, the wheel's on, we just got to raise it up a little bit, get the jack stand out, and then put the sway bar and the electrical box back in, and it'll be good to go. So we slid the bar back underneath the electrical box, tighten this one down, tightening those down. This electrical box, it kind of slides back over these bolts sticking out right here, and then these washers go inside on there, and then we tighten them up. Like I was saying, you need to get a ratcheting wrench wrench set, otherwise you will go insane. Alright, the wheels are back on and it's all closed up. Anyway, that's been how to change your strut assemblies on a 2005 um, Chevy Uplander. And you, the same would probably also be true for a 2005 Buick Terraza because they're essentially the same car underneath the hood. Anyway, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them, although I'm not a mechanic. And we'll see you next time.